Hi, hello. This is Mrs. Lata Pandit shining off the introduction of subject economics. Dear students, the subject economics. Uh, we are going to see what is economics and we should understanding the economics and what are the types of economics. We know already from the 7th or 6th standard itself we studied something about this economics. Economics is a study of how people allocate, how people are going to allocate their scarce resources. Definitely in this world the scarce resources are very scarce. Be then only we have to come to no, coming under the numbers. If you take down iron, iron resources or this uh, uh, bauxite or uh, mountains or rivers, we can calculate them. That is the resources are limited. That is why the scarce resources. So, within the scarce resources, how the economy is going to produce and distribute and consume for individual and the whole collectively. So, we should know the production, not only in the production, how we are going to produce efficiently. That is efficiency in production. So, uh, production, merely production is possible everywhere. But how we are going to make the efficiency in production, that means cost cutting method and making proper goods and services all are and uh, exchange and uses models. There are number of models in this world in economics. What is the model is used by us and how we are going to exchange our models to other countries also. So now you should know what do you mean by economic models. Nowadays the people are uh, talking about system systems you know that is systems that is how we are utilize this economic model or systems. In this world there are three systems or models are there that is isms capital Capitalism, socialism and mixed economy or mixedism. So, there are three isms are ruling over the world countries. Uh, for example, capitalism, the countries are giving more importance for private people. Whereas, socialism countries, the people are giving more importance for government uh, concern. Take down this capitalism countries. Some of the countries are capitalism is USA, uh, Japan. This kind of countries are capitalism. Socialism countries coming under this uh, Russia likewise as they are following the socialism. And some uh, uh, one more isms is communism is also that the China is following the communism and other things. Mixed economy means the some of the governments are undertaking both private and government uh, that is collectively is called the mixedism or mixed economy private and government that that is in India. If you take down in India, the private concerns are also there and government concerns are also there. For example, in education department, the government schools are also there and private schools are also there. So, this is called mixedism. India is the best example for this mixedism. So, definitely, if you are going to see uh, the history of uh, economics from 8th the century BC. Now we are in AD. So BC itself uh, from the Greek economic thought uh, we had some of the economic uh, thoughts and other things but all are in unorganized manner. Uh, in the year 1776 the Adam Smith he is a Scottish philosopher. He wrote a book and inquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nations. Uh, this book itself some of the definition gives uh, an inquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nations. So, uh, he gave the definition of economics is the study of wealth of nation is called economics. And dear students, I think you are going to select the, uh, to study this economics. Uh, it, it, it has its own way. That is uh, not only the production, consumption, distributions of goods and services. It has a lots and lots of, light. it throws its lights to households. Firm, buyer, seller, saving, investment, employment, healthcare, nutrition, social institutions, and land, labor, capital, organizations, currency, inflation, deflation, family, law, war, and public policies, government, tax, public debt, public expenditure, education, finance, politics, religion, science. So, uh, in, uh, to include all the things under the environment also, store Handling these kind of activities, the country is going to achieve the economic growth and development. So, every country's aim is what? So, economic growth, to attain the economic growth and through the growth, we can attain the development also. In this world, every country, every people,
people or every institutions every household they are come under that uh, that is prosperity through these kind of economic activities their students you are going to study these all kinds of activities in a very descriptive manner in this economics that is designed for you in this 11th standard and 12th standard so after the 11th standard and 12th standard you are going to Uh, suppose you are a producer or you are a consumer or a distributor you are going to get the values of these things through this subject economics definitely students you will get the very good knowledge of this economics about the world countries about the world economy all things you will get it i wish you very all the best you are all get this uh, good knowledge from this subject from our school seva shanti metric higher secondary school i wish you very all the best thank you